hi i hope you're good today on this little story time as part of hashtag fresh story fridays to begin our half term of stories we have one in the pillow called bears make the best reading buddies let's find out if they do are we all ready let's go at the beginning of the school year, Mrs Fitz P assigned reading buddies, but Adelaide didn't need one. She already had her own. Don't be scared, Adelaide coaxed. Come in. Bears know how to sniff out a good book with their super-powered staff. They're wild about adventures and mysteries and fairy tales. They know how to build peaceful places where no one bothers you while you read. They sit side by side, knee to knee, and put the book between you so you can both see. Bears listen with their super sensitive ears while you sound out the words. And if you get frustrated, they wrap you up in a warm bear hug. But don't worry. They always carry a spare jar of honey for making repairs. Bears know you never run away from hard to pronounce words. They challenge you to look at the pictures and chew over the possibilities. And when you get it right, they stand on their hind legs and roar so you keep going. Finally, when you come to the end of your book, bears are always hungry for more, especially books about salmon fishing and berry picking. I wonder why. <laughs> bears know that once you get a taste for books, you'll discover trail after trail of adventures and clamber to new heights. And that is why bears make the very best reading buddies, Adelaide finished. Well, don't just stand there, Adelaide, said Miss Fitzpee. Show that bear in. And when Adelaide started to read, Bear borrowed, burrowed in and got lost in the story. The end. I really enjoyed that story. I think I might need a reading bear to come and be my friend too. If you've got any reading bears at home, or a buddy that reads with you like your mummy and daddy, you can share some pictures in the comments with me and show me. I have Mickey, Minnie and Colin up here that are my reading buddies, but they all seem to be asleep today. Anyway, I hope you've all had a lovely week, those of you on half term, those of you starting half term, well done, you made it through the first half term of the year, that's another five to go. <laughs> Have a lovely Friday and I will see you all on Sunday for Share a Story Sunday and then every day next week we'll have a different story as part of Halloween half term. But for now, like, share, comment, subscribe on the YouTube video. We have hit a hundred views on one of the videos on there which I've never managed to do before so I am so pleased so thank you and have a lovely Friday. See you Sunday. See you later. Bye everyone.